The new programming language, Cause Effect Matrix, called CEM, is integrated in the new TIA Portal version 17. With the CEM programming language, you can quickly and clearly define direct cause effect relationships. You describe specific process events and define possible process reactions. You assign these to one another in a two dimensional matrix. And now, let's take a closer look at how this works. Just create the block as known from the other programming languages in TIA Portal and choose the language CEM. When you insert a new CEM function block in your project, it already contains a matrix with a cause and an effect. You can add more causes and effects to the matrix and edit them. The programming window is the area where you create the cause-effect matrix. In CEM methodology, a process event is called a cause, while the process reaction is called an effect. A cause is responsible for the activation of one or more effects. Intersections connect causes and effects to each other. They specify which causes have an effect on the respective effects. So now let's start designing a cause-effect matrix using the example of a baggage conveying system. Here you can see how easy it is to create such logics in CEM. The example deals with controlling a simple baggage conveying system. Therefore, the following preconditions are to be tested. Has a bag been placed on the belt? Does the bag weigh a maximum of 20 kilograms? And what is the destination of the bag? Let's create the interface of the block. This is created, as you know, from the other programming languages in TIA Portal. In this case, we need five inputs, two sensors, the destinations and the weight of the bag. For the example program, four causes are required, which query whether the preconditions for the baggage transport have been met. At first, let's create the cause with the logic operation AND, which checks whether a bag has been placed on the belt. This is detected by two light barriers that the bag must pass. The cause is named GET SENSORS. Now we need a timer in the first cause, so that the cause only becomes active after the ON delay has remained. But how can you add a timer here? Well, it's really easy. The timer can be added simply by drag and drop. With this parameterization, the timer on delay delays the activation of the cause by 10 seconds. This timer is used to check whether the bag was on the belt for long enough to be weighed. Now a second cause is added with a click on Add New. This checks the weight of the bag. Here, a comparator is used for this. This block checks whether the bag weighed a maximum of 20 kilograms. The block is called Get Scale. The third cause, Hamburg, checks the destination airport of the bag. It has to become active if the bag's destination is Hamburg. The fourth cause becomes active if the bag's destination is Munich. The conveying system consists of two belts, either of which is switched on depending on the bag's destination. Therefore, we need two effects of controlling the two belts. So, at first, the effect Run Belt Hamburg is created. The simple assignment is made here as usual via the equals. A new effect can simply be added via Add New. After that, the effect Run Belt Munich is added. Let's now create the intersections. As you remember, the conditions according to the task definition, there are three conditions assigned to each conveyor belt. All three conditions must be fulfilled for the belt to start moving. By default, the intersections of a column are linked by a logical, or in CEM. As soon as one of the intersections becomes active, the associated effect is carried out. However, in our tasks, the effects must only be executed if all the three conditions are satisfied. For this, the action group was implemented in CEM. 
combine all the three actions of the column in a group. The number indicates that all the three actions have to be active for the result of the group to be true, so that the associated effect is executed. With the action group, it's also possible to implement, for example, a 2 out of 3 evaluation. The three actions of each column are now linked by a logical AND. The basic example should now be extended with an interlock function. Let's assume the following case. If a customs officer wants to inspect a bag, he can press a red button. When that happens, the belts must come to a standstill and a red indicator lamp must start to glow. When the inspection is over, the customs officer presses a green button to turn off the indicator lamp and to restart the belts. So, cause 5, which is called luggage check, is added to the matrix and linked with the signal of the red button. After that, cause 6, luggage OK is added and linked to the signal of the green button. The additional effect, set red light, sends the output parameter, blinked red. Moreover, it also sets the static parameter, stat blink red. This serves for stopping and starting the conveyor belts. An additional output can easily be added with a click on the symbol here. Now the control of the two belts is linked with a variable stat blink red. That's quite easy, just modify cause 1 get sensors. And add one more input to the logic operation AND. At the intersection of cause 5 and effect 3, the action S for set is programmed. Its effect is that the red lamp flashes as soon as the red button is pressed. In addition, stat blink red is set. Since the action S is used here, the effect 3, set red light stays permanently set, even if the signal red button is not present anymore. At the intersection of cause 6 and effect 3, the action R for reset is programmed. Its effect is that the lamp stops flashing when the green button is pressed. In addition, stat blink red is reset. Now we have implemented the interlock for the small application. Let's now load the program onto the CPU and take a closer look at the online view, which allows an efficient diagnosis. For a better overview, you can zoom out in the editor window. This scenario shows the program status when a bag of permissible weight and Munich as the destination is transported. Let's switch to another scenario. This scenario shows the program status when a customs officer presses the red button. As you can see, the belt is deactivated. The last status which is shown is active when a customs officer releases the red button. As you can see here, the intersection with the set is still active. So, let's say in a nutshell, the clear representation of causes and effects ensures that the CM program can be quickly understood, both in the project configuration and commissioning phase, as well as during servicing. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.